What's up guys, it's Matt from TDM Style here and welcome back to the channel for another hair product review and today we're having a look at Trent's TH1. So Trent's is another premium hair care brand coming out of Australia and TH1 is their styling product that advertises a matte finish with a variable hold as well as what they're calling Trent's Treatment Compound, which is a proprietary blend of ingredients that's meant to provide several different benefits to the hair and scalp, uh, as well as to help block DHT and prevent hair loss. So we'll talk a little bit more about that in a minute when we're looking at the ingredients, but let's start out as usual with the packaging. So this comes in a 100 gram or 3.4 ounce all black plastic tub with their stick on labeling around the sides. And if we take a quick look at the label, we've got Trent's TH1, TTC, Trent's Treatment Compound, Finish, Map, Hold, Versatile, and then we've got a bit of directions for use. So I like the packaging. Uh, the all black thing looks nice. It's simple. It's something that I you know think looks nice on the shelf. Um, as far as their logos and font choices and things, I know, like Michael over at Spruce and Sharp called it a very kind of sporty looking label. And I think that that's the perfect way to describe it. It, it is, it's sporty looking. Um, and I like that, it's different. It's, you know, it, it's minimalist, but not the same kind of minimalist as like everybody else. My one uh, critique, if you will, I think it would look and feel a bit more premium if the uh, stuff was printed directly onto the tub rather than a stick on label, but that's just a small thing. All right, next, moving on to my favorite category, scent. Fuck. Oh my God. The scent on this is so fucking good. It's completely unique for sure. I've never smelled another hair product that's quite like this. So I actually talked to them about this and it is a sandalwood and tonka bean and other complicated things in there uh, type of scent. So what that translates to is you, you could describe it as being kind of a woodsy vanilla type of scent. And it, yeah, like the, the tonka bean gives it that sweetness and that little bit of like warm vanilla smell. And then you get that sandalwood in there. Oh, it just, it smells so good. Um, my wife loves it too, by the way. It's like, it just, it's got a little sweetness and you, you catch a little whiff of it here and there throughout the day. It definitely, you know, it's not super strong. It's not punchy or in your face or anything. Um, but I think it smells fucking great and I enjoy those moments throughout the day when I catch a little whiff of it. All right, now a bit on the ingredients. So this is a water-based product, so that should bode well for the washout. Um, and this is a kind of clay and wax-based hybrid. So we've got both Australian kaolin clay in there as well as bentonite and a number of other wax compounds and things. And then we've got all kinds of goodies that go into that Trent's treatment compound. So I wrote a few things down here because I knew I was gonna forget. So some of the heavy hitters in this formula for that compound include things like keratin, uh, saw palmetto, coffee extract, green tea, and a number of others. Raspberry, I think, was in there. And they all have various uh, benefits. So I'll definitely put that down in the description box below for you guys. It's also on their website, so I'll put a link to that as well. And the main ideas behind this treatment compound is that it's supposed to promote scalp health, it's to uh, meant to strengthen your hair shafts, as well as to help block DHT, which is that hormone that men produce, which usually leads to male pattern baldness. And as far as pricing, this comes in at 40 Australian dollars, which at the current exchange rate is about 2850 US, and it is free worldwide shipping. So, you know, 3.5 ounces for about 29 bucks. All right, now finally getting inside the jar and taking a look at the product. So when you open it up, you will see what looks basically like a waxy clay type of product. It's this kind of uh, off-white kind of creamy color and you can see some specks of the clay in there. As far as the scoop on this, it is um, thick and a little bit firm to get it out, but it comes out like I can't, I basically would describe it as like a whipped butter type of feel. Like it's, it's thick. And when you break it down in the hands, it breaks down creamy and smooth, but you can feel a bit of tack from the waxiness of it. And you can feel a bit of dryness from the clays. So transitioning that over into the application and styling, the first scoop goes in buttery smooth, no problem at all. Um, and it basically, I find that it sets pretty much immediately. So you do get that nice true matte finish coming through where it's not adding any shine, but it's also not taking any away. So it doesn't make your hair look overly dry, which is a nice thing. 
Going in with the second scoop, uh, for a coarse wavy haired person like myself, I can definitely start to feel that tack and that dryness in there. Um, so you can feel the, what, what they call, you know, ver veritable, veritable? Versatile? English. Um, hold where, you know, the more you layer in, the stronger you can make the hold, um, which does lead to a bit of stickiness when styling. It's certainly nothing super uncomfortable. There is a slight amount of tug and pull. So I imagine if you're a person with finer or straighter hair, that won't bother you in the slightest. Uh, but for somebody with coarse wavy hair like mine, you will feel a little bit of that in the initial styling. So as I mentioned with the final style, it's definitely a true matte finish. And with two scoops applied, I would say that that gives me a nice solid medium hold. And it's very, very lightweight in the hair. So it definitely is easy to get some big volume in there as well. Now, when we get to the endurance, testing is where I think this product really starts to shine for me. Um, not literally, I mean, you know, like it, it, it gets better. That was a great joke, right? Um, so what happens as the day goes on, this product just makes my hair feel softer and softer and softer. The longer it's in my hair, the better my hair feels. Um, which is really interesting to me as far as like a clay type of styling product. That's it's something quite unique um, where, you know, it starts out with some stickiness and some dryness and the longer it's in your hair, just the better it feels. So I really like this product for, you know, kind of more like flowy hairstyles. It's just my, that's the type of hairstyle I like. So this product is basically suited perfectly to my favorite type of styling where it's not like super high holding that I want or you know, basically setting something up and having it just stay in that exact shape all day. I like it for a bit more of a natural feel. It just ends up with this really great kind of like lived in look. Yeah, it doesn't get greasy at all. So there's no like added shine later or anything. And even on day two, it still looks great. So like this after footage here, this was taken 15 hours after I initially styled it. So you can see there is a bit of uh, volume loss there, but you can hopefully see with me running my fingers through it that just how soft it is. All right, so overall thoughts on the Trent's TH1 styling product. I fucking love it, man. It's so unique to me, um, which is interesting now because we'll, we'll talk about this a bit. Now, this uh, apparently there was some controversy and it's been compared to the Morris Motley treatment styling bomb. And there were some people out there saying, you know, that Trent's was basically trying to do the exact same thing. I completely disagree. This is a totally different product from the treatment styling bomb. I can see where some people would try to make that connection. Like, okay, well, they're both premium brands. They're both from Australia and they both advertise, you know, qualities of a matte finish um, and, and, and hair health. But I mean, how many, there's fucking a million products that advertise those same things. So I don't think it's fair to say that this is trying to be the treatment styling bomb. And cause like I said, in my opinion, this is a completely different product. It behaves totally differently. Um, and yeah, and I think it's just fucking great. I love it. So, you know, it's definitely a true matte finish. It's got a variable hold. So, I mean, like I said, I like using two scoops for about a medium kind of natural hold, but you can certainly get more if you layer more in. It is a bit sticky and dry at application, but I fucking love how it just makes my hair feel more and more amazing the longer that it's in there. Um, I just think that's a really cool thing. I guess that's the treat, the Trent's treatment, treatment compound, compound, more English. I'm so good at English today. Um, I guess that's the treatment compound at work. And it really does like, it makes my hair feel really, really nice. And as somebody with, you know, a drier, coarser hair type, something that can sit in there and be a styling product, but also be kind of like a treatment mask type of thing. Um, is just the two birds with one stone. And I think the pricing is good for, you know, for being a premium product that's doing this kind of treatment to your scalp. I think 29 bucks for three and a half ounces with free worldwide shipping is totally fine. And that fucking scent, boy. Oh, it's... I really, really love the scent. So that does it for this review, guys. I hope that you enjoyed it and found it helpful. Definitely stay tuned. Lots of exciting stuff coming up. And funnily enough, since we were mentioning how this was compared to the Treatment Styling Bomb, I also have the new Treatment Styling Bomb 2 from Morris Motley, which uh, is coming up very soon. I did like a first impression style video for this. So that's gonna be coming out in a few days. Um, and spoiler alert, 
they're not the fucking same. It's very, very different. Um, but anyway, more on that soon. So if you haven't already, please do hit that subscribe button down below to keep up to date with all that. And as always, thank you guys so much for coming by and watching. And we'll see you at the next one.